Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. This is a 30 second Photoshop tutorial. It's going to run longer than 30 seconds though because we're going through all the features and all the tools in Photoshop and at this point I know that they always run longer than 30 seconds. Um, as I mentioned in yesterday's tutorial, if you're not following along with the series, yesterday we did the rectangle and rounded rectangle tool. Today we're up to the ellipse and polygon tool. We're trying to keep things interesting because let's be honest, it can be boring just talking about shape tools. But there's a lot of hidden tricks and little things you can do with these tools. And that's what I'm going to take the time and cover. Um, the stuff that got covered in the tutorial yesterday as far as adding to shapes, removing from shapes, I'm going to try not to go over that again today because uh, go back and watch the tutorial. You'll see it works the same exact with the ellipse and polygon tool. So we've got the ellipse tool. This tool allows you to draw, you guessed it, circles. Circles, ovals, different kinds of shapes like that. Now, I am going to go over a couple little things. If you start drawing out a circle or an, uh, an oval shape and you realize, whoop, wrong place, hold down the space bar and you can drag it and place it exactly where you like. That's cool. Um, if you don't have circle checked on, if you have unconstrained, we'll get back to the cogwheel in a second. If you have uh, just a free form circle and you've got these crazy ovals, hold down the shift key. That's going to give you a perfect circle. Hold down the alt key. Whoop. Hold down the alt. Let me undo that. Delete that. Uh, hold down the alt key when you're dragging out and it's going to drag your circle out from the middle. Let me just select that pink color that we were working with a second ago. Uh, oh, there we go. See, and if you click, you can create an exact ellipse. So you can dial in the exact size that you want. 500 pixels wide by like, yeah, maybe 200 pixels tall. Hit OK. Boom. There's our ellipse. Cool. So that's kind of the ellipse tool. You can see you can mess with the fill and the stroke. You can create a shape or a path or just straight pixels. This is, you know, just like, you know, creating a, an elliptical marquee selection, filling it with a paint bucket, essentially. Uh, you got your stroke options here, which is all great. Stroke alignment, yada, yada, yada. Width and height, you can punch in or edit an already placed shape. Uh, you have different pathfinder options. I've covered how to use this in my tutorials on the pen tool in this series, as well as the one we did yesterday on the rectangle tool. We're not going to get into that. Under the cog, you can just choose to, you know, an unconstrained circle. So any kind of ellipse, it could be a perfect circle or oval. Uh, you can make sure, like I accidentally had it set to before, to just always draw a perfect circle. You have to use no hotkeys. It just always is going to give you a perfect circle. You can create a fixed size or just set a proportion. Like let's say you want the pixel or the, the ellipse always to be twice as wide as it is tall, set it to a two to one proportion, or you can drag out from the center, which essentially does what holding down the alt or option key does. I'm going to put it back to unconstrained. Uh, aligned edges, that has to do with how it lines up with the pixel grid. Again, I talk about that in a little bit more detail in yesterday's rectangle uh, tutorial. Um, and that's pretty much the circle. So, you know, or the ellipse tool, it's, it's, you're drawing circles with it and you're filling them with colors and it's lots and lots of fun. Next up is the polygon tool. Now this tool is a little bit deceiving because, um, of course, yes, you can draw out as many polygons as you want and we can do things like maybe say, Hey, only three sides. And then look at that. We get a triangle instead of a polygon, or we can say do seven sides and we get a much softer edged polygon or eight sides. And we get what you may recognize recognize as a stop sign, but on a little bit of an angle right there. You can also do things like choose to smooth the corners. So let's go back and give this five sides again. And if we smooth the corners, you can see it's like a bulbous circle. We can also check on, give me a star. Give me a star with smooth corners. And you can see here we have almost this flower shape. If we get rid of smooth corners, obviously we have a straight up star. It's a very extreme star because our indents go very deep into the star. If we don't like that, you have your indent sides by, and we can say uh, indent sides by 45% instead. And we have a much more traditional looking star. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we can also smooth the indents, which you can see here is going to smooth out those indents from the inside out. So not, not round the tips, but round sort of the concave uh, crotches of the star, if you will. I'm going to uncheck that. So a lot of different things you can do there. You can create a, a star with multiple sides, right? Um, this is actually kind of neat. So we can create a bunch uh, of, of different star uh, star edges. It's more like a star burst effect, or you can do sort of that web 2.0 button. If you set it to like 25% uh, indentation with maybe 10 sides, and you can see it's more like, hey, click here for 50% off, yada, yada, yada. So that is uh, the ellipse tool and the polygon tool. It's all it's all in the settings up here for the polygon tool. You can do all kinds of cool things with it. And uh, because it's named the polygon tool, people don't think of it also as the triangle tool and the star tool. So for the ellipse tool and the polygon tool in Photoshop, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, Tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.